You know, this is what every single last king needs to understand. Currently, you feel me? I'm in the college campus, you know, I'm in the school library. It's early in the morning, you know, not a lot of people out. But I'm making this video to say that I've retaken the God pill. You know, I've returned to the God pill. You know, currently, um, I'm about to hit day free of semi retention after my relapse. You know, and I'm never relapsing again. I just want to let you know, you know, this streak that I'm about to go on is going to be a pure retention streak. And my goal is to not bust unless I'm making a child, you know, but a lot of you guys are probably wondering what made me go back to the God pill. What made me retake the God pill? You know, some of you guys probably think, oh, he just fumbled a baddie, you know, and he probably thinks God is going to fix that. No, that's not the reason. You know, I don't care about that. And some of you guys are probably thinking, oh, I guess the shaming finally got to him. I guess the people constantly spamming him in the comment section about going back to God finally convinced him to go back to God. But that's not the reason either. You guys should know by now, I really don't care what, you know, other people think about me. You know, I'm honestly a very stubborn person. And if I want to change, I change. You know, nobody else is going to convince me to change myself, you know, I have to be the one to see something wrong and to make the change. And, you know, that's something about people, you know, that's where that saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink comes from, you know, that person has to be willing to change. No amount of convincing them will make them change. You know, I've been in the comments system, you know, people have been making comments about me going back to God for like a year now, you know, I just been getting spammed with comments about God, you know, take, go back to the God pool for like a year now. And, you know, I never did, you know, it was me who made the decision to go back, you know, but anyway, the reason I'm going back, the reason I've retaken the God pill is because on my last senior attention streak, I had another spiritual awakening. I had another epiphany, you know, I realized a lot of things, you know, once the lust was gone, once the lust went out of my system, you know, like I said on like, like a week ago, like day 25, day 21, I, I started becoming asexual, you know, I just stopped even, but you know, like day 17, it was, I started becoming asexual, honestly, man, I just stopped really being attracted towards women. And once that lust was gone, I started realizing things, you know, I started realizing how lust is really destroying men. And I realized how lust has really destroyed me, you know? I realized a lot of things, you know? And I realized that I was just really pursuing girls just to use them, you know, just to have sex with them. And that really made me feel guilty. Yeah, that really made me feel guilty. You know, I was also talking to my sibling and she even told me, you know, you're just using girls for, for sex, you know, and that really made me feel guilty and honestly disgusted with myself. You know, that's one of the reasons. And also, when you're on semen retention, you honestly, it's weird. Semen retention is so spiritually awakening, man. And so many people, a lot of you guys, so many people, they they don't focus on the spiritual aspect of things. They focus on the physical world. You got to look at things also from a spiritual perspective, you know. You got to become spiritually aware. You become spiritually aware on semen retention. You know, on semen retention, I was just becoming closer to God out of nowhere. I just started thinking about God more. You know, it's weird what semen retention does to you, man. All this stuff on semen retention, it's all real, you know. Don't do not do, do semen retention for female attraction. If you do semen retention for female attraction, you're ultimately, you know, you're going to fail you. Well, I don't know if you're going to fail, but you're not you're not going to awaken your true potential, you know, because you're still lusting. You got to get rid of lust completely, you know, but yeah, I've returned to the God pill. You feel me? I know a lot of you guys on this channel have commented that, oh, I'm constantly going back and forth, but I feel like this is I'm pretty sure this is this is the end. You know, the God pill is the final solution. I'm grateful that I, that I, I guess I went astray. I went off the path because I learned a lot from going off the path. God taught me a lot of lessons 
when I went off the path. He taught me a lot of stuff when I went off the path, you know? And one of the kings in my Discord, he, he said something powerful to me. He said, I haven't even noticed that ever since you stopped the God pill, your kingdom has started to become like destroyed. You know, bad stuff has started to happen. And I also realized that too, you feel me? But, you know, I returned to the God pill you know, I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not an Israelite. I'm just a follower of God. That's that's all I want to do. I just want to follow God, you know, just follow him. You know, please him. You feel me? I'm not going to be all preachy. I'm not going to be saming dudes. You feel me? But, you know, that content, that red pill type content, I don't think I'm not going to make that type of content anymore. I don't even have it in me to go after multiple girls anymore you know i'm just i'm just spiritually awakened now you know see my intention is very powerful you guys i advise all kings to practice see my attention you know it's life-changing but anyway that's all i had to say you know i don't want this like i made this video i don't really want it to be about me i want it to be about god you know i didn't make this video for me i made this video for god